Hey, CJ here from the Mallard Five Farmhouse. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally making another farmhouse video. Thanks for your patience for that. I have been busy cutting firewood trying to get us through the winter. But today I'm going to take a break because it is cold outside. Let me show you. Zero degrees feels like negative 15. So yeah, I think I'm going to stay inside today. So what we're going to work on today is this wall and hopefully this wall for the reading nook which by the way we bought a bench we bought this bench at Hobby Lobby you can see the girls already uh, made it their own put their pig on there but for these two walls and all the drywall in this living room I'm gonna put up wainscoting and then hopefully once we get that done I think I got enough wood I'm gonna put up the farmhouse trim around the window so stay tuned and let's see if we can get this wainscoting up okay so I've got three coats of paint on these two walls up to where I'm going to put the top rail for the wainscoting. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm finally going to get to put the trim around the window and of course it's going to be farmhouse style. That way I know how far to uh, go with the wainscoting. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I got the trim around the window done. So now we can move on to the wainscoting. But before we do that, I wanted to show you this reading nook bench that we bought. I took the easy way out. Uh, we was at Hobby Lobby the other day and Kelsey and I found this bench and we decided to buy this instead of me building one. But my plan is to put this reading nook bench right in the center. There's going to be a gap on either side. I may or may not do something with that, but that leaves a problem, which is an easy fix. I just got to do it. There's an outlet back here. So what I need is for this bench to rest flat against the wall. That way when I pull that crate out, the outlet will be exposed. So I'm going to cut a hole in the back of this bench. So I'm going to start working on that. Okay, so yesterday we got the bottom part of the walls painted. We got the trim around the window done. I uh, cut out a hole in the back of this reading nook bench that way we can still get to the outlet. Now I'm measuring out the boards for the wainscoting. Now you can do this different ways. You can actually put up actual panels or you can do what I'm doing and just paint the wall and then we'll put the trim around there and it will look like panels. And That's what we're going to do. Right now I got them all cut to length. I'm painting them right now. I'm, I'm a messy painter and once all that paint dries we're going to start installing all these boards and then that really should make this reading look look pretty sharp <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I got the top rail up and the baseboard put up and I got my two two ends, the one in the corner and the one over here. The reason I left that gap is for the trim going around this doorway but uh, I'm not ready for that yet. So now I'm looking at it and I think I'm only going to put one more in between. But I tell you what, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. got a chance to work on the farmhouse again and I'll tell you what this actually turned out pretty good I was surprised that's the first time I've ever done uh, wainscoting and it's not real but it looks like it and I think it turned out pretty good what do you guys think um, it's good it's good yeah. yeah I still have a few odds and ends to finish up on this I wanted to give all my farmhouse followers a video because it's been a while since I've done anything with the house. Be sure to like and subscribe and everybody thanks for watching. Go ahead. Be sure to like and subscribe and be ready watching. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. Blah. Right, do it again. <laughs> ah. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah, she did it. Yeah, all right. <laughs>